how you view things can really impact your anxiety or OCD. We're gonna talk all about it. Stay tuned, that's what's up next. Hi, my name is Natasha Daniels. I'm a therapist and make videos for people with anxiety or OCD. And today I wanna to talk to you just about your thinking in general. There are often two types of people and how they think, and there's a lot of us that are in between. They see a glass that has half of the water in it. And some of us see it as half full and some of us see it as half empty. Have you ever heard that expression? Do you see things as half full or half empty? It's the same thing, right? It could be either one. Maybe you see both. But how we show up to life, how we view situations can make a huge difference in our journey with anxiety or OCD and just in our happiness in general because some people are just naturally seeing things as half empty. Oh, but she didn't do this or oh, I could have had that or this didn't happen today or these things are happening to me and I'm a victim to all of this. Always seeing the negative. Some of us, I almost feel like are wired to see the bad stuff, the things that could happen or things that are happening that aren't good. They'll always be bad will always be good. Where do you go? And it's not your fault. I feel like some of us are just naturally inclined to go to one area or the other. Some of my kids are half full, some of them are half empty, some of my family members are half full, some of them are half empty. I'm sure you have that experience too. But we can work on being half full thinkers. It doesn't mean that we have to be like rainbows and butterflies all the time. We can be realistic, but we can also say, can I, can I turn this thought around? Can I view it from another thing? Am I only seeing bad things, right? Oh my gosh, I had the worst day ever. I hear that sometimes in my house. The worst day, what happened? Well, lunch was gross at school. I didn't get to eat and I'm tired because I didn't sleep well. And you know, my pinky toe is hurting me. And they list all the things that are going wrong in their life that make it the worst day ever. I'm like, did you get in a car accident? No, that was weird. Why would you say that, right? Are you having the stomach bug right now? No, I feel fine. Um, do you have a lot of work you have to do? No, I don't have any homework. Oh, well, these are all really good things. You mean you have the whole evening free? You mean you're not feeling any physical pain except your little pinky and you get to relax? Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> it's not that you can't acknowledge the things that aren't going well and that are upsetting, but how often do we only see that in our life? And when that's all we see, it's an invitation to open that door for anxiety or OCD and make them very cozy in our lives because they feed off of that. But when I see the positive and I say, you know, the situation could be worse. Um, I have gotten a flat tire before where I'll be thankful. I know that sounds totally weird because there was one time I was about to go on the highway and my tire just it like would not go and I was a block away from the highway and I was two blocks away from my house and I was thankful. I could have said, oh my gosh, what a nightmare. I have a flat tire and what, this is a nightmare because I was supposed to get to an appointment and now I can't and this is such a hassle and such a headache. But my mentality, my thought that day was, I was about to go on the highway. Oh, thank goodness I got a flat tire here. How convenient because I'm in a safe location um, I'm not on the highway. I can actually walk back to my house and grab a drink or something while I wait for someone to come tow my car. Um, it couldn't have happened in a better spot. <laughs> it's not that you have to always think like super positive like that, but can you invite yourself to think of what is the other perspective? How can I view this in a positive way? Are there, are there aspects of this or parts of this that are going okay? If you're having a bad day, Say to yourself, what's going good? If you're having a bad week, what's going good? If you have bad situations in your life, what are situations that are going well, right? If you are in a situation and you're thinking this is the worst thing ever, could it be worse? Because most of the time my, my anxiety can show me many ways that it could be 10 times worse. And that can help because then I pull back and it gives me perspective to say, you know what? This isn't that bad. And I'm managing it, I'm doing well. So. I invite you to start to think about what kind of think you are, thinker you are. You can leave it in the comments. Are you a glass half full or glass half empty? Naturally kind of person. 
and we can all strive to be a little bit more about the full side, just start to swap your thoughts and think about uh, a different perspective because that when you have that different perspective, it actually will impact all areas of your life, including your, your ability to crush anxiety and OCD. Well, I hope that you find the sparkle in everything you do, especially with the topic that we're talking about right now. And I'll see you again for another topic on Thursday of next week. Take care.